like a present. Uh What's up, WWE Champions Universe? This is Lee and Rusty from Champions Chat, and we are on the official WWE Champions Twitch with uh, somewhere between 55 and 60 of our very best friends. The number is like rapidly changing in front of me, and we are going to power rate Ilya Dragunov Unbasigbar. Uh, Rusty, what do you know about Ilya Dragunov in this game? Are you froze? You are froze, froze. Ha! Ah. All right. Well, I'll just keep talking, and Rusty will come back here in a second. Even when he's not on his home internet, apparently the potato internet uh, is a real thing. So Ilya Dragunov is your S plus tier character this month. He is a technician, which initially made me go, oh man, another technician when we've gotten so many good techs recently. But my goodness... He hits hard. He has multiple movesets that will hit him over 60 million damage. And uh, Rusty just typed in the chat, oh no, I'm lost in space. So if Rusty, if you can hear me or somebody to let him know, I've got the thing ready to load him back in when he comes back from his journey of space. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple different movesets, but this one is the most straightforward, easy, it's going to do big damage, as we always say, in honor of our dear friend Sir Zorro. Uh, <laughs> blink twice if you're in trouble, Rusty. The 5 MP black bicycle kick, deal damage, increase your green MP by 10. The 6 MP green deadlift German suplex, deal damage, make the bottom row into pyro gems, which will modify everything above it into green, and the H-bomb, deal damage, and make 14 random gems into multiply gems of strength four, uh, 10, and then deal damage and choose a 7x1 area to swap into black. Speaking of black, Rusty, welcome back. I'm back. I'm back from the, what they call it, the blip. The, the, the dark oh, void of space is what I was going for with that. Yeah. So we're going to run him with Woods, Striker Woods, because that's all he needs to get his, his turns loaded. It's a 5 MP move. You put Striker Woods on there, you're boom, you're done. I normally say, hey, you know, we power rate post 99 MP, but this one, I mean, all you need is that. You're good to go. I am going to run Sherry. I normally don't run her because she's a more rare trainer, but S plus tier characters are by definition supposed to be super rare, so I think that's fair. Memrock for another multi gem up, and then Bret Hart for yellow and green gems do 35% more damage, and multi gems do 35% more damage. So, uh, on the strap, we've got the 50% gem damage strap, so that way it keeps it kind of fair. Double Fury 2, and a 35% all gym damage. So it's on the higher end with your straps, but if you get 100%, like is in the shop today, uh, then you'll do even more damage. And the only other thing I want to say is I am going to put the Piper uh, Powers plate on here. Don't let this be a knock against his power rating. He doesn't need it. And I, I'm going to say words I don't think uh, I normally say. It's only 100% extra gem damage. Only. As if that were small. But the Piper Power is built around yellow gems. And this does green gems. So it does buff 100%. But it's not the biggest thing out there. My feeling is at some point they're going to release a green version of the Piper or LA Knight plates. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. There's not really a plate right here that I care to show. I mean, he doesn't need one. You can put whatever you want, like the break green, make a different color, but he recycles flawlessly with this moveset. It's super straightforward. Rusty, I talked a lot. Back to you. Well, no, I think I think you said it well, and I I think last week um, when we put that that Piper plate on, I think it spooked people, and uh, I'm glad you put a disclaimer this week because um, it felt like an almost an unnecessary bias about sure. the one or two special things. Suddenly it was like super rare, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So I'm glad you made that clarifying. Uh, connection for us right 
Well, and uh, Two Live said, will you try it with the jade plate, the Cargill plate, which we can do. I mean, I can show the same thing real quick because literally we're barely tens. I'm, I am, I have taken longer to uh, talk right now than this whole move set takes to, to fire off. So right. ready, set. Let's see the damage. Kapow. 75 million. 75 million. That is incredibly fast. It, it recycles incredibly well. You don't need anything to make that hit. Sherry does help. I don't have Sherry, uh, but still, yeah. just boom, done. Just done. But do we like him? <laughs> but do we do we like him? Like as a person? Like would we sit down with him for a steak dinner and? you know, call him a friend? Is that what you're asking? I don't know. That moveset is just so... It's it's like a reverse... It's like a reverse what? Smiz, right? It's almost it's almost the exact uh, flip-flop of what the Miz does. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, Miz makes more multis, and Miz hits harder, by the way, but Miz also has a chance that you cascade. Ilya right. is foolproof he will not right. fail period i do like that all right let's see with the jade cargill plate 57 57 so the the piper power did actually make a a difference or we just got a lucky hit on that last one So maybe he does actually need Dragonov is Merrick's proof. Yes, that's correct. So maybe he does actually need one special thing because seventy-five versus fifty-seven, that's a big swing difference. I think I have some criticism about Ilya um particularly not using the superstars from this MLC um, oh, well. to kind of open up. So I know I know that's that. possible, but like that's what I was thinking is like I really like the kind of the lore of the game, right? And so the way the snowfall gems and the Canadians all kind of work together, like I thought that was a really neat dynamic. Um, and so in some sense, and I'm I'm rarely critical of, I'm usually very enthusiastic, very optimistic about our power ratings. Yeah. Um, this one I'm kind of like, oh, another multi guy. Hmm. <laughs> Well, why don't we run him the, the move set that utilizes every single one of the characters from this month then? Because that's the other move set I was going to show. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. And I think that's, to me, we, Lee and I used to make content where, like, I would say, like, here's the fun build. Here's the way I would run this character for fun, right? And so what Lee's about to show you is um, Rusty Fun stamp of approval. <laughs> <laughs> Well, and the nice thing is every one of his movesets does right around 55 to 60 million, give or take. Right. Like, he's just, uh, yeah, consistency is the name of this guy's game. So, Maxine, Batista. Oh, that's point. Jabroni says, would, would, um, would Mosh actually be better than Cherry just because you would increase the number of multis? Yeah, actually, I was going to do that, and we got sidetracked with the other plate. I was going to show Mosh, actually, instead. Um, let me finish setting this one up, and, and I can run that real, real quick. Uh, Bret Hart's actually correct. Okay, so now we've got the 6 MP green, seated rear chin lock, color submission, choose 7 gems to make into green, and do damage for 3 turns, and then the remaining turn into multis of strength 10. The jumping in Ziguri, deal damage, make 20 random gems into pyro gems, which will modify all the gems above them into green gems when broken by your gems. And then the discus punch, deal damage, make 20 pyro gems blue. On the entourage, you've got Maxine for pyro gems, do 18 more, uh, 18k more and create four more. You've got Batista for pyro gems, do 200% more damage. Blue moves start with two. You've got uh, this wonderful, wonderful Mae Young here. Pyro gems do 100% more damage. Green moves deal 40%. And then Bret Hart, green gems 35 and multi 35. Rusty, do you notice what I've done on this one that I don't normally do? 
Uh, uh, <laughs> let me see. Is it a sub move? Uh, no, it's a, it has to do with the trainers. I, I am not setting this up correctly for once the 99 MP is gone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there it is. There's no, yeah, there's no MP trainers. Right. And Eli Brew got it uh, quicker than I did. Yeah. So we're not power rating him based on this with all the rare trainers and stuff because this is this is kind of the hey do you just want to see what he does look what he does kind of thing and then you come in here and you use the all heart whenever you generate three or more submission gems increase your green gem damage by 100 percent and you go from there I love captain that. russ didn't do his homework oh <laughs> I, I no it's that. it's it's just the uh the the, the spontaneous question i'm not always uh, yeah, I'm not always sure of how to answer it correctly. <laughs> That's right. a neat thing. Uh, no, 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 no. You, you were good. You're good. I, I set you up. Uh, maybe I didn't set you up well there. Speaking of setting things up well, I'm... Okay, I did that. Oh, darn, I lost two of them that way. This is the one big disadvantage with this move set is, of course, you're going to lose some gems whenever you do it. But right. the, the other side of it is you throw a bunch of gems pyro and of course it also put them high instead of low this is probably the worst possible variation of me showing this we could have done <laughs> so do you, if it, it's for anything like the blue, just curious do you not like the pyro bonus um damage move yeah we could show that one as well i i uh i might even just call this one because the <laughs> i i hit super hard with this in practice and so that's why I was like, use this instead of triple blue. But to be honest, if you get a bad hit, like I just got a bad hit right there, he goes from one of the most stable, consistent characters in the game to Zombie Sammy just screwed up my whole board twice uh, oh because no. he just ate all my gems that would have uh, done. I love it. So got a comment altering our gameplay here a little bit. We got a comment in the chat that says, thank you. Rusty and Lee for the, uh, I posted above. I truly appreciate as your guys joy brought me back to the game and uh -huh. I love it. Isn't that fun? Just that to say is. like, people are having fun with champions and I want to have fun with champions. So I love that. I do too. And I want to not use this move set now because this, Sorry. this move set is sucking my joy out of me. <laughs> no, we'll just switch to triple blue. You know, it's Sorry. the way we should have done it anyway. Uh, I just, I, so so and you obviously a sub move um something so easy like an escape artist plate can ruin a feud um yeah and it, so so yeah um something to be thinking about i like triple blue i think it's either home run or or they kick out and you don't have enough damage um, right but it's right. but it's and then if they sub you, you, you know, you'll have the same result of frustration because right. it's really hard to reload a mono color um, gym set because what if there's no blue on the board, right? And yep. they sub you and then you can't and it's like, ah, that's really frustrating. So it is. And, you know, to be fair, the, the triple blue here that I'm about to show, this is what um, this is what the the game design was built around because you look and, and Maxine gives you two blue MP, Batista gives you two blue MP, right. Santa Hogan gives you one, and then they're all six MP. So this will start loaded turn one in feud. Ignore right. the fact that I just did silly silly and threw out a sub move. I, you know, it is what it is, but Yeah, still. this is the, the move set that got me excited when we were doing some preview stuff and the break it down video. Um, this was the this was the move set that I wanted. I'm still chasing Elia because I've got the other pieces of the puzzle. For me, this is the application of right. everything I've been working for this month. So that's right. why I'm excited about this move set. Well, I haven't hit the move yet that's going to turn the board colors, but just using the bonus damage per pyro gem hit for 29 million. Just that nothing else so whatever this hits for we add to that and uh life's good from there right so yeah. 
Big that was damage. 18 million. So so you're talking 50 million pretty much straight up with that move set. Still not as powerful as the the black green green, but yeah. Yeah. but super good. Super and, and good. So Lee from for me and I said the word earlier and somebody said lore, what is this? Lore of the Rings. So for me, lore is the story behind the game. And Triple Blue is the story behind this MLC, right? And so I love it. Um, same reason I love Final Boss Rock, and because to me, he represents the lore of going into the six gold meta, right? The iconic character that caused great hubbub instantly. Um, so that does, if you if you ask Rusty's opinion on a character, you, you will not always get what's more powerful what's the best lee and the power rating are a lot more objective of a criteria right yeah yes sir and now i'm trying to remember how i just had him i'm pretty sure it was this way yeah okay hey, while, you get, while you get that entourage set lee another person in the chat said thanks lee and rusty because of an interview you guys did with a faction leader it brought me into that faction and learned to love this game all over again as well. You guys have a knack for nice. that kind of thing, I guess. LOL. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Well, you know, I've said before, like when we talk about the roles of the content creators and stuff, like what is everybody good at? I I think we are Charlie Buttons from Charlie and the F pa Chocolate Factory, like especially the one with Johnny Depp, where he has that like iconic line where he just looks at the little boy and he goes, you're just happy to be here, aren't you? Like, that's us. Like, I'm just happy to be here. I still don't believe we got to be official content creators. What the True. heck? But, True. wow. All right, so somebody said triple green in the chat. Uh, I disagree. We typically don't run this many moves for a uh, power rating video, but it's going to be black, green, green for me because the black move is a 5 MP and it loads everything. The finisher is a 10 MP green. So in order to get there, yes, you can use the sub, and then you can, of course, do the uh, the the what's the plate? Dang it, I just lost it. All heart. You can do the all heart plate. But for me, this is guaranteed every time. The other one may hit a little bit harder, but I promise right. you, you don't need to even worry about hitting harder once you do this. And this was the last variation I was going to show was with Mosh. So we hit 75 million with Sherry. She does times four on the multis he only does times one but he adds five more multi gems so functionally you're spreading the wealth across a bigger area everything else being the same because the all heart plate isn't going to trigger anyway so don't worry about that uh oh and by the way i've been getting buzzes in my ear every couple seconds for people who are uh subbing to our twitch channel which is awesome because that's where the giveaway is going to happen thursday Wait. All right, so let's show the same thing we just did a couple times. Big variation now is we're going to drop 19 gems at strength 12. So not quite as hard hitting of the or the number, but there's a lot more of them. And I do like that. And now we make the bottom. Rusty, before I hit this, with Sherry it was 75 million. What do you think? What do you think? 74 million. <laughs> 74 million. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was 58 million so about uh, right about 60 right about 60 wait i see i had i had a blind faith in mosh there is what it was <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny sherry plus piper was 75 jaboni you're correct did i take the i didn't take the piper plate off though did i i don't think i i don't think i removed it oh i did you're right gosh dang we have done so many variations with this, it's insane. That was a trick. You ran a trick on me. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so now we can we can really do it. Uh, we can really do it here. Still, 60... I mean, how many other characters can do 60 million damage like 17 different ways? That is the yeah, exactly. one thing I'll say about him. This is the most movesets we've ever run on a, on a good character so i have to believe there's going to be good things coming to those that recruit Ilya. yeah i would say so and the s plus tiers well some will say well that's not a good thing like they don't tend to get moments they don't get to get tend to get changes and what i mean by that is they just tend to make them right 
right away. Like, they don't need other things like, down the road. Hold on, let's see what it is. This is with the pi uh, power, 77, 77 million. So even if you don't have Sherry, he's going to hit 80 million if you got a Piper plate. So come on, that's, that's great, man. Yeah. And you, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So let's go to the tail of the tape. That is the uh, power rating here. Oh, why does this do this? Come on now, right. go back to seventy percent. There we we're go. We're gonna we're gonna have some polls coming up uh, imminently, and these are gonna be one minute lightning polls tonight. So you gotta lock in your vote immediately. Be sure to tag the number and then click vote to submit your vote. Yep. And shout out to Two Live Brew. He literally guessed or figured out in his brain the exact amount of damage that was going to do. That's insane. So on the power rating scale, the first one is power. It's an objective, not a subjective uh, ranking, meaning that we have the data there. Five points on our scale means 100% or more of the current meta's top end damage, which we said the top end damage of the meta is 60 million. That was a very scientific process between some of the top players and some of the top factions to figure out what is this meta actually doing. So he's five, man. He hit 60 million six different ways from Sunday. Yep. Also on the speed, at least two of the following have to be true. Uh, that their MP charge is six or less. His MP charge is five. Not every move has to be six, but the one that makes everything happen. So that black move is five MP. Everything else loads off of it. Moves are cycle flawlessly. Animations are quick. He will win in way under 45 seconds in feud. Easy. Easy button. So he's a five. All right. You ready for the lightning rounds, Rusty? Yeah. All right. Here's readiness. Readiness for a five character needs zero or one special thing. That can be a plate, a gear, a moment, or a rare trainer to make them work so he doesn't need sherry to hit 75 million he might need the piper plate to hit but he didn't need it to get near 60 million so either way that'd be zero to one thing uh character needs two special things that's going to be a four character needs three special things that's going to be a three and character needs four special things that's going to be a two so i think we're ready lightning pole is live Lock in your votes for readiness, friends. Well, on the power rating on uh, Twitch, because we do put our stuff up on Twitch for people to vote early on. Uh, across the board, they gave him a, a four, but I would dispute that. What does he need? He needs maybe the Piper Plate. Well, maybe. that's zero to one special thing, right? So it's yeah. still a five. Well, that's uh, what I would say, but I mean, I don't. Maybe they were thinking you need Sherry, which we just disproved. I mean, you can use Mosh right. and hit almost the same. I love um, that. If you use a free-to-play trainer, there was a free MLC trainer. Like that's about the lowest bar in the game. Yeah. Right. I love it. Twitch poll, un overwhelming five eighty-five percent. Okay. 84% poll is done at 84%. Okay. Well, then I, I would agree. And uh, I think that's, I mean, that's that's what people said. I mean, 84% overwhelming. Oh, Mosh hit harder, actually, than Sherry. Well, thank you, 2Live. I appreciate that. Ooh, also, that. something that I think it was ET373 uh, asked me to do was to, instead of putting the longevity discussion, because we haven't been using that anyway, was to say, what moveset did you primarily use? So I put that down at the bottom here for, for people who go back and check this chart out. That's great. Yeah. All right, great so thing. versatility. For a five, character has to be competitively usable in feud, boss, and showdown. The character has to have a special gem type that will help them in the boss battle, extreme rules, and we don't put it on there yet, but gem mania would now qualify there right. you know they have to have a special gym type so a five is all three modes feud boss and showdown plus a special gym type for a four they need to be usable in two modes feud boss or showdown some combination for a three one mode and then they don't necessarily have to have a special gym type and then for a two characters really only good for tours all right i'm starting that poll now 
Lee, um, Gym Mania has changed the game, my brother. I used Hall of Fame Iron Sheik to dial up a, <laughs> I think it was a 14 turn sub move, right? right? When's the last you said, I need Hall of Fame, I need to call in my best superstar. It's Hall, Hall of Fame Iron Sheik. Sheik. Right. <laughs> so yeah. that's pretty yeah. cool. And he does. I mean, he's got some stuff that'll work depending on what what they set up. Um, real quick before the poll ends, though, Jabroni. The only question is about showdown. How do you do you feel like it's 99 MP people or people with the right MP perks? I would say having a five MP lo uh, move to load your whole move set is really big, really big for for showdown. But that's <laughs> often where characters get the gotcha. The gotcha is often showdown for this. Hmm. All right, about five seconds left. It looks like it's going to the fives with 60%. Ooh. Next close vote was four. Yeah, fives have it. Fives and fours. Well, let's see what's on uh, Twitch. What are we on? Versatility? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, not Twitch. Discord. Discord is overwhelmingly a five. On uh, ooh. We've never had a perfect character before. In the history of champions? I... Wait, wait, because we're about to do the entourage category. We'll see here. <laughs> the second coming of the great Muda from Russia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, Jabroni, big thing is a, a lot of people can do 10 MP and then there's a negative 6 MP and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I don't have Twitch app that got baby ice on call. Here we go. All right, so let's look at, before we say what this category is, let's look at what his trainer ability is, our coach in this case ability is. Coaching ability at 31k, blue moves that deal damage will deal 40% more damage. Green gems that do damage will do 30% more damage. So blue moves 40%, green gems 30%. I think I just heard Charlotte Flair's new lover starting poll now. <laughs> <laughs> well, for a five, uh, the essential training coach ability adds something you don't want to go into battle without. For a four, widely used trainer coaching ability helps the character being used reach their full potential. For a three, niche trainer or coaching ability may not be used much, but very valuable when needed. It can't be lower than that because other characters with similar abilities have rated three or higher so it has to be a three four or five the votes are rolling in be sure come on lock in those votes because it's really close here between three four and five um i i'm excited to have Ilya on my old tech dawkins my afro edge <laughs> wow. my charlotte flair like the blue green my eo sky these are the superstars that he just boom replaces and upgrades the entourage ability for hmm. um a lot of acros a lot of acros gotcha and text Ooh, and that's a full okay hold on though because we're about to have a discussion it's overwhelmingly a four on right. twitch are we I'm checking okay youtube uh, youtube is also uh, live uh, y'all pull it up okay on on discord however uh, ooh, actually, well, okay, so Discord has a two-point spread that goes to threes. So it's only three, or, or two people that compared, uh, over, that are more than. So there's, uh, let's see, there's seven, so there's six votes, because I post it, so I count as one, and so across the board on all of them. Uh, so that negates itself. So six votes there. Um, what do we have, versatility? Oh, and Sir Zorro. <laughs> Sir Zorro is the vote for a three on that. Uh, no, on uh, Entourage. So there's four votes uh, that need to swing towards three and two votes that need to swing towards uh, the the four or the five. So, so I'm not sure if that's close. That's that's pretty close. That's uh, I don't know the street. The thing is gone, so I can't see how many people put a three versus a, a five. Rusty, uh, what do you think? Sorry. I'm trying to find the Twitch live. I mean the uh, YouTube live here, and I'm in all oh, kinds of different levels. Okay, no, you're good. Uh, Lux Eterna, uh, Eterna says uh, Zoro's vote trumps everything. 
So oh. yeah, two live. That's pretty much what we do in these instances. Is it was pretty close to. Oh, Dylan votes a five. Okay. Well, either way, it's pretty close between three, four, and five. So if you add up the three fours versus the five, or if you split the difference between them, I think it's going to end up. I think it's it, it, it. I think it's a four. I mean. I think that's fair. I think I think it would be. The numbers are right there. It, it just would be really biased to give him a five in this category because of a particular superstar we were excited about using him on, and that would also prove more of a niche instance, right? More of a niche. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I do, the more I think about it, I think it's that's a commensurate ability to Hall of Fame DDP and Muda and like it feels like it's just we're feels moving like a the three. No, I thought we said that was a firm four automatically. Um, well, let me see. We just redid Muda. Let me go to Muda round two. Like Charlotte. Oh, we Flair's did give him a four. Red. Yeah, we yeah. gave Muda a four. I, I okay. think it's. I think the four is the right score here. I think the community yeah. got it right. Yeah. Still, I, I don't think anybody would have guessed that this guy would be tied with Muda as the two highest power ratings in the game. I, I, so. I agree. I think Zoro's score is actually unnecessarily harsh. To give him a three <laughs> on that, that's, that's too low. So, Jabroni, um, if you look at what we uh, the, the one with Muda, why we re-ranked him, is because we moved uh, the threes to fours across the board because of uh, the votes that consistently kept coming in for that same ability and said at, at ni- uh, not 99p, at gold, because uh, Cody... You know, um, at least Zombie Cody, the old version, and was uh, I'm sorry, the previous version was silver. That ability wasn't near as hard hitting as it is at gold. So we had seen most of them go up from there. So, so I think this is fair. It's just surprising. <laughs> true. Um, the the this test often surprises us, though. This test shows that there's no implicit prejudice or bias on our part. That we're not just ranking the people we like right. or that we're excited about. But oh, even, so the, pass, yeah. Yeah. The the build the build that I would have used, the, the triple blue with like the with this month's characters, that build may not be a twenty four out of twenty five power rating. Right, but I think Lee demonstrated the one that was, and I think it's really hard to disagree with what we saw demonstrated on this uh, video tonight. I, I, I can't, I can't make a case otherwise. The proof is in the evidence is here and has been presented carefully to us. Yeah, I, I agree, and I think just to just to kind of clarify how this cuts through biases. I personally, if I get Ilya, still like Miz better, and I still like uh, last month's character, Julius, better uh, overall. But I think Ilya is absolutely more consistent. Like, he is a safe yeah. 75 million yeah. like that. Where I, the other I two, think... they're more exciting because they right. have to do all those, but, like, both of them have things that cause problems. This guy's going to get it every time. I think once we see Ilya do something really noteworthy on WWE TV, we're going to all revisit and go, oh, he's incredible. I love him. Right? Right. I, I, th- I think he's one good match away from affirming this score. Right. Well, I, I agree. So, I mean, I think that's that's it for this video for him. We're about to power rank Terry Funk as well. So if you're going, man, Ilya is just so out of my reach. I, I can't even imagine having him. You've got Terry Funk if you've been playing this game this month. So, yeah. Wow. Rusty, take us out. We wants the funk. Oh, yeah. So that's not Terry yet. But listen, comrades, this Russian bear, Ilya Dragunov, is ready to rumble and he 
to date is uh, tied for the highest power rating of all time. So chase hard this weekend, get those shards, um, do some whatever it takes, right, to get this technician on your roster. And I bet you'll thank us later that we were ahead of the curve and the community saw the goods on Ilya Dragunov. Join us on our Twitch because that's where we're starting to do all oh, a whole lot more fun stuff. I don't want to even I don't want to even tell you what's going on there. It's top secret. You got to watch it and you'll it'll put a smile on your face when you do. twitchtv slash Podcast, and we'll see you next time. Bye.